Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. What comes out of this lab? New products. This is all part of our new product development process where we basically go through and test all of our products to make sure when they get out into the real world and to people and they're used that they're going to be safe and they're going to have good life performance. This, this room is our load room. This is the room is what we use for testing all of our products. It's basically comprised of all of the products that our switches and dimmers and products of that nature will turn on and off. You can see the lights in, in the background turning on and off our load banks. Each time these turned on, a switch turns them on and off. We use that for testing the products so that you can see how good they are. What our testing does, it simulates a long duration or many years worth of use in a short period of time. When you're doing torture type testing and turning things on and off, these are the type of load banks that we use for performing those tests. Different products have different requirements. A typical switch that you'll see in your house will undergo over 30,000 cycles of operation on these types of loads. The lifespan of a product generally is going to be based on how it's utilized. There's not a specific number where it says it's supposed to be 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years. But if you do look around, depending on how products are used, many of our products have been in use for probably more than 50 years and still out in the field and working fine. Oh, those bulbs are large because those are 1,000 watt light bulbs. What we're doing is when we're testing a product, we test it at its maximum rating. So if you have a product that's rated at 20 amps, you have to test with 20 amps of current. You would probably need 100 of those small light bulbs to equate to 20 amps, where you can use just a relatively small number um, of the large bulbs and get the same equivalent current. If you went to an electrical distributor, you probably could buy those bulbs. They're generally specialized bulbs. You don't see them now as they're getting rid of incandescent lights. They're getting harder to find, but you can still buy them. 